Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're going to be looking at number 72 on the NFL's top 100 list of all time. His name is Jonathan Ogden and we've got some uh, we've got some Wikipedia research up here so you know what we're gonna roll the intro and I'll see you in a second. The quicker you're here, the faster you go, that's why where I come from the only thing we know is... Oh. Alright, Jonathan Philip Ogden Born July 31st, 1974, as a former American football offensive tackle who played his entire career with the Baltimore Ravens. Well, that's cool. He's 44, 6 foot 9, 150 kilos. Holy shit! He was a high school All American in both football and track. He had high school best throws of 19.23 meters in the shot put and 56.73 meters in the discus. Holy shit. What do we got here? During the 1996 NFL Draft, he was selected by the Baltimore Ravens in the first round with the fourth overall choice. The first ever draft pick made by the Ravens. Huh. So he must have played with Ray Lewis. In 2001, Ogden won a Super Bowl ring with the Ravens when they defeated the New York Giants in Super Bowl 35. He announced his retirement on June 12, 2008, after a career that spanned 12 seasons, all with Baltimore. His, re his retirement left Ray Lewis and Matt Stover as the last remaining Ravens from the team's inaugural season in Baltimore. At six foot nine, Ogden was tied with fellow Raven Jared Gaither and Bengals tackle Dennis Rowland as the tallest player in the NFL at the end of his playing career. Six foot nine, playing football? It seems just unbelievable, doesn't it? Offensive tackle, six foot nine. Jonathan Ogden. Let's have a look. You know, I'm, I'm a bull rusher, man. I was known for power and running in there, hitting a the guy, and being able to at least jack you up or make you make you feel like, okay, I know at some point I can break you. With him, there was no breaking. Beast. Absolute beast. He's so big. <laughs> so big. Plain and simple, I've never seen a guy with a head as big as Jonathan Ogden. <laughs> I've never seen a helmet fit so tight on somebody's head. If you saw him on the street, you would say that guy can't move fast enough to get in front of anybody. But when he puts on that uniform, it looks right on him. Jonathan Ogden was so natural, so fluid. He just made everything look easy. Man. And there's nothing worse. I can't even imagine coming up against a guy like that. You literally, I'd be looking up like that, and I'm six foot one. When you're working hard against somebody, and you're out there sweating and grunting, and you're looking up at this guy, and this guy's just sitting there with his head wedged in a football helmet, kind of just with a look of, well, gosh, is that the best you could do? <laughs> so disheartening. <laughs> his, head, his head is wedged in the football helmet. <laughs> Extremely tenacious on the football field. Just had that will that he was not going to lose. And I'm not talking about guys that I'm not going to lose, and you lose every once in a while, but then you, you know, no, he's not going to lose at all. He was great at run block, and obviously with his size, he can move anybody out the way, he can shield you, he can do all those things. But the tough thing is to be a pass blocker. Being a left offensive tackle, you're the guy that gets the best pass rusher for the most part. So for him to be able to handle a speed rusher at his size, to be able to handle a power rusher at the same time, it's like, wow. You don't find a guy who can do you know, all three of oh. those things and make them all look easy. That's awesome. Like that. When you know that you dominated someone, it's a great feeling, really. I mean, you just kind of fall right on them, and the air just rushes out their chest. <laughs> Sometimes you can take a person out of a whole game. If you do it early, I mean, their mind is messed up for the whole game. Yeah, it would be. It would be. they got no chance. They're going to come up against you the whole game, and you just dominated them in the first play. That would be the best thing ever. That's when you just kind of laugh inside yourself. <laughs> you might make a comment to him. Just keep it light out there. I got on a nice little rib shot. I got on a nice little rib shot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, he did too. Oh, yeah. That's an old veteran move, Sam. It's an old veteran move. He knew it. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. John did I'm, I'm bitter. You were too good. Make guys like me look bad. It's not fair. 
blaming your mom and your daddy for the genius they gave you. Jonathan Ogden There's some genes, all right. so much talent, he won a shot put title at UCLA, making him eligible for the Olympic trials. I didn't know he was an Olympic caliber shot putter, but I have seen him shot put quite a few guys across the football. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that shot putting experience at UCLA did come in handy. Oh, yeah. The blocking. He's not fu he's not fat either, is he? He's got a freaking flat stomach. It's insane. He's not a screamer, he's not a yeller, he's not a big talker, he's a laugher. <laughs> you see him, you think to yourself, this guy is not mean enough to handle the mean guys out there in the NFL. Jonathan would rip your limbs off and it would smile and wave your hand in front of you, rape your arm. Hey, good child, hey, come get it, come you want it back. <laughs> A lot of times the coach oh. will say, oh, you know, you need to do this, and you need to do that, and you need to change this. Against Jonathan Ogden, the coach eh. would just say, just do your best, son, just do your best. Fuck. And you play Jonathan Ogden and you pray. They didn't get embarrassed. You think you're getting around him, right? You think you're getting around him, and you'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting around him, but his arms are so long and he's so big that it's like, he's just this wall. And yeah, you can run like five yards this way, but... Even if he doesn't run, even if he doesn't move as fast as you, he's still gonna stop you because of his freaking length. He's so huge, so huge. But there you go, number seventy-two, Mr. Ogden, done. And uh, I want to say, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed this series so far, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, do that too. And I'll see you in the next one. We've got number seventy-one, Paul Warfield. Can't wait. Peace out, everybody.